Hey, Daniel. Yeah. When you're done back here, I'm going to need you to slide in hold these seat bolts across the back. Not like on the shoulders. You know what I'm saying? I'll hold down once you hold the, the open end. Watch yourself, Turk, for a second. Well, um, if you all watched Facebook earlier, we um, came out with an article on uh, FAST and what we're doing this year. So that was uh, pretty exciting. Uh, i got to thank Don Radaball for the great write-up and obviously FAST Fuel Systems, Brad, Dan, uh, Tracy for uh, coming on with us this year. Pretty exciting. This is uh, 54. This is our Daytona car. Um, not the best looking, nicest configuration inside, but uh, 54 is usually pretty good uh, anywhere it goes. Just um, getting things ready. Got it off the dyno. Had good numbers. Everything was good and smooth. Had to work on the airbox a little bit. But uh, other than that, everything's good. Uh, radiator's fixed. Flew down. Had a big turnaround from, for that. Uh, we had, a, we had a, a pinhole in it, and I went to uh, start putting water in it two weeks ago and um started leaking right off the bat obviously so got that get that fixed and uh, just finishing up a few things in here for the for nothing and bolting i um, already got the fuel cell area done working on here already checked on my wiring so once i get out of here i'll uh slide underneath nothing bolt underneath there grease everything wipe everything back off and uh she's pretty much ready to go uh, street stock is at powder coaters right now so we'll have that back sometime next week um, 320 is in powder coat down at somewhere. Uh, where's that at down there, Dad? Somewhere in North Carolina. I don't know. It's going back together right now. Uh, it's going back together. When we get back, when we get it back, we'll just be able to uh, put motor transmission up, go together with it, and then 13 is getting a brand new clip uh, from Traders guys. And I don't know what's going on with 104, which is the Lyra car. So we'll see. It, it's ready for a body. Yeah, it's ready for a body. So. Um, but a lot of cars being sent out, powder coated, blasted, uh, 320 is done, 13 is probably going to be left, um, just to bear for a clip for now, and then, um, 103 is probably going to get powder coated because I'm going to pretty much force the hand on dad and make sure that one's nice because that's a, it's a nice car, it's the nicest one we got at this point being two years old, um, like to be able to keep it that way, um. Other than that, uh, you can walk up front and talk to Dad. Daniel's will side in here. We're going to finish the seat up and uh, keep on going. It sounds like he said it all, huh? Christine, did he? Mm -hmm. He took care of everything? So we can sign off? Is that, is that about it? Pretty close. Um, I'm sure he mentioned the uh, the write-up on the ARCA webpage. Uh, if you get a chance to take a look at it, I think we shared it out a bunch on our Facebook pages. But uh, a really nice article about uh, the fast people and... Uh, what they've done for us this year uh and i believe it did list the races both salem's both dirts kansas chicago and st louis so um pretty cool deal there like i said the uh the street soccer has completely been put together back apart it's gone to the powder coater uh should have it next week maybe we can show it to you when we get back from the daytona test um daytona car just got off the chassis dyno um daniel did you put that up uh, uh one of the runs up on dyno yes yeah, I think it's on both pages. It's on one of the pages on Facebook. If you want to take a look at that, that was about an hour ago or so. Um, making good power, good numbers. So um, things are coming together really well, a little fast right now, and it's going to be uh, really, really hectic uh, from this point forward. So, uh, but pretty exciting still the same because um, we're getting some we're getting some really good help that uh, we haven't had in the past, and uh, we need to go do some racing that um, we can plan for it, and you know we can buy tires ahead of time and. Uh, instead of putting tires on with it's got 10 laps on we can put sticker tires on so uh, things are looking better uh, certainly appreciate the support from everybody and we will talk to you next monday when we get back from the test so keep in mind also turk for next week we'll make a tape for the end of january for a question and answer because i've been getting some a lot of things on that and we'll decide what saturday we're going to do it and we'll go from there so other than that certainly appreciate it and uh, we'll talk to you guys next monday thank you All those good there, Daniel? Yep. Show me a tire over here real quick, please.
So one thing we want to do while we're on the live session, one, if you all are seeing this on your news feed and stuff, uh, give it a like, share, whatever you can do to help us get out. Um, we really want to push um, fast fuel system, and a big part of that is getting them out on social media. If you, if anybody's on social media, you guys know how big it is. So um, if you want, if you want to reach out and you want to help us a little bit, share it, like it, comment, uh, comment, and let us know where you're from too. That give us an idea of uh, of how far we're getting across whatever wherever you're at I, I don't know i mean I, this could be from other countries at this point couldn't they um but uh just give us some idea and kind of help us with that and then uh, yeah if you guys would be uh good enough to, to put this out share it on your own feed and reach out to your friends that would be uh that would be awesome i think that i think that pretty much does that cover everything you said everything you want to say i think so okay Teresa rush has already shared it perfect always count on her with her kimmel racing shirt so um Nope, other than that, uh, I'm good. I check my belts, and uh, we're ready to go. Therese is from Bellbrook, Ohio. <clears throat> Mike Regelman is from Stockton, California. That's cool. Tim DeSpain asks, where's the, where's the shop cat? He's here. He's here, somewhere. Everybody waiting on Steve or Justin to walk back in. No, every time we put a car on the dyno, Champ, Champ heads upstairs. You won't ride. Mm -hmm. Hey, he's still on there? He's still live? Yes. Come here. Oh, they didn't even, they didn't even know this guy right here. Come here. Come here. No, no, look over here for me. What y'all don't, who, who y'all don't know, and he's behind the scenes of why our shop is so clean, is Steve, and we call him the tree man. Steve climbs for Townsend, and he has been, how long have you been coming around here? Uh, five, six years, probably. And Steve goes to all the local races, goes to the dirt races when he can, and he doesn't bat an eye. I mean, all Steve does is literally grab brake clean and use about a gallon a day, keeping the shop floors clean, sweeping, and uh, feeding champ, and he does all the running, all the leg work that I need done in the shop as far as anything you mean clean. Even when he goes to the racetrack, we're at the dirt race and he's trying to wax the car while, while we're at the dirt race. So, uh, big shout to Steve-O. We appreciate it. And it's uh, somebody you all may not get to see because he's always behind the scenes. He's behind Justin. You can't see him. You can't see him behind Justin. <laughs> <laughs> um.